Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome for those who just pop into my channel. My name is Jamie and I'm doing transgender related and fashions and beauty. So don't forget to give me a love, like and subscribe to my channel. So today is about my hormones level. So many people ask me about hormones and stuff like that. So I have a video about what kind of hormones I'm using. So if you want to check it out, it's like right here. So pretty much I just want to update you guys about my hormones level so to check if things working and the answer is the same it's not it's not working the same because like i cannot blame the hormones though because like i don't really use my hormones strictly so i will insert my hormones like results up here so pretty much you can see that my estrogens is pretty low for transgender and my uh testosterone is a little higher so my testosterone used to be like zero by something, so that was perfect for me back then. But then now it's like going up and it's on like a lower end of male, so it's a little, I guess. But for transgender, it's supposed to be like zero point something something. So I'm pretty much like two times more than I should be. And I think that means like my adrenal cord taking is not great. So I either have to amp up my dosages and yeah, so nowadays I'm taking 5 milligrams per day or per 2-3 to three days I remember to take, to take it. So I might have to try to do this consistently with 5 milligrams per day or I might have to uh, amp up to like 10 to 15 milligrams per day. Without testosterone I'll get so tired and <laughs> that's not a good thing. And I've been working out, so I really need my energy to like have a little bit more. And I want my metabolism to actually kick in so I can lose some weight. Because like, if the testosterone is way too low, I feel like for me, I burn less calories and I get a lot more fat in certain spots. So I like the idea of having some testosterone, but this is a little bit way too much than I expected. So this result says like, so the last one was like almost two years ago. So this one is like a two-year updated versions of a long time ago and I'm a little disappointed yes like my estrogen's not a lot I kind of don't expect it because I mean one tube I, like for estrogels I suppose to use like one tube per month and I'm using like one tube per three months or four months so if I really want to up my estrogen games I really need to try to use up one tube per month but to be honest I'm not super fussed that I have to like amp up my estrogens or anything because I'm pretty happy like I don't have a lot of hairs. I just signed up for another course of hair removal lasers and it's working so great for me. Like I pretty much don't have hair anywhere that I don't like and I'm quite happy with that. So from from now on I really just want to lower my testosterone level to before. So like still point something. So that's pretty much it and Estrogens, it's up or down. I, it really doesn't matter for me. A little higher would be nice, but I am okay with that. Like, I mean, I'm over 30, so since that you should get your hormone checked, so you know that your hormone routine is working or not, and mine is not working. Yes. Yeah, so I get other a bunch of other stuff to check as well. So I just want to make a quick update on that. And if anyone have any questions. So you can leave it down below. I will try to answer some about like medical advice or anything. I probably cannot answer because I'm not a doctor and I don't have enough knowledge to really advise you to do anything. So yeah, so stay safe and do not overdose on your hormones though. Like, like for other people who get your hormone checks and you might just panic and like overdose your hormones and it's really not great because like it could mess up your chemical in your brain and stuff like that. It checked and I like, tried to use it and am up and then retest for every six months if you really want to reach certain types of hormones levels. I mean, I am pretty happy. I don't really know what would happen if I get higher estrogens. Like, yeah, I could get a little bit more breast, but I already have breast augmentation, so I really don't need it. And so I really don't see a lot of benefits that I would get and of a lot of my estrogens. I would prefer it to be like a little higher, like 50, 60. That would be nice, maybe like for skins and acne. And I think for like, for more information, it's like I had a very bad breakout like last year, like on my chins and on my face, like literally like bad breakout. And I think that because of my hormone was like imbalanced, like 
I think from getting checked, so I understand like my testosterone levels like increases so maybe that's why like, I had a lot of breakouts like years before and it's getting a little bit better now so I think that's the benefits of getting your hormone checked and yeah so anyway hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe and I'm, and I'm gonna see you in my next video bye